I know that this video is probably gonna bomb. Not many people in this world care what my grandmother's top five favorite games were. However, this is a video I really wanted to make and let's just do it. Oh, it's Friday night. I don't know what I'm gonna do tonight. I could sit here and pick my nose while I watch a brand new video. Whoa. Top by Friday, top by Friday tonight. My grandmother really loved video games. Part of the reason I was the gamer I was back then was because of her. Uh, all our systems, most of our systems were at my grandparents' house. My earliest gaming memories were with the Intellivision and Atari. And I've not asked my grandmother what her top five favorite games are. I doubt at this point in her life she would remember a lot of them. Outlaw on the 2600. Now we played this in a lot, uh, two players. And the object of the game is simple. You try to just shoot the other player and rack up more hits than the other one. There's obstacles in the middle of the screen like walls and cactuses and, or cacti and uh, stage coaches, things like that. My grandmother really, really liked it. I think a lot of it was because she grew up back in the 40s and watched a lot of, uh, you know, cowboy movies and things like that. And it was actually fun. It's, it's, it's actually a really good game too. All right, number four on the list is the OG, Super Mario Brothers. Now we were very late to the party getting an NES. We didn't get it until a few years after it was out. And my grandfather just on a whim, he knew that my grandmother really liked video games. He knew that we liked video games. He was like, you know what? I'm just gonna get an NES. So we had it there at the grandparents' house. She was just blown away with Super Mario Brothers. It's like a huge, huge adventure. So all the things that we talk about back then, how we felt as kids. Oh my God, this is just, just the biggest, most adventurous game I've ever played in my life. This is just next level stuff here. That was exactly how she was too. I think this is just a really, really common story too. Uh, she would play it like this. And I, I swear everybody's mother, everybody's grandmother, everybody's, they would always play it like that. Her love of video games really kind of even started to elevate at that point because of just this whole new world that was opened up with Super Mario Brothers and the NES. Well, keeping with the theme, uh, number three, Super Mario World. This was another one that when it came out, she was just absolutely blown away with. She would play some Super Mario Brothers 3 as well, but man, Super Mario World, it was just different in her eyes. And as she loved Yoshi, that was another system that was bought just off just for everyone, for the kids that stayed at the grandparents' house. She would have access to it almost every day. Me growing up, I didn't have access to the Super Nintendo or the NES every day, but she had access to the Super Nintendo and the NES every day of her life. And uh, I know she was playing a lot when I wasn't there because when I was there, I was always hogging the system. But she loved Super Mario World and it was it's definitely worthy of being on this list. <laughs> So it was the mid 90s and it was around the time that I started getting out of video games just a little bit. I really wasn't interested in a lot of the newer stuff that was coming out, but my grandmother was. And she went out and got herself a copy of Yoshi's Island. This was all her doing, she wanted it. And so I remember just going over there one day and seeing a new Super Nintendo game, Yoshi's Island, being like, oh, I think I remember seeing something about this. I, at first I was like, it says Super Mario World 2. This has nothing to do with Super Mario World. And I was kind of thrown off by that a little bit. But then as I kind of got into it and started playing it, once you start understanding the play mechanics of it and how to shoot different things and all the little di you know, nuances that you can do. And even the graphical style was, was different, but it started to kind of grow on me. I was like, okay, this is actually a really, really good game. So occasionally I'd go over there and play it and. And, uh, but I, I never, I never beat the game. I never was really dedicated to, you know, putting that much time and effort into a game to beat it. But I would go over there and play it kind of more casually. But at that time it was just like, oh, that's cute. My, my grandmother went and got herself a game. That's awesome. And uh, she loved it. She, she played it all the time. I'd go over there sometimes and she'd just be playing it. And so uh, it was it was one of her favorite for sure. It, it was really awesome having a grandmother into video games because you could, you could <laughs> live off the residuals.
Okay, for those of you who know all this, uh, this is probably not a surprise, but number one is definitely Burger Time uh, on the Intellivision. The only bad thing about this game is the controller. The port itself is great. One of the best ports leaps and bounds better than the Atari 2600. However, you still gotta play with those really awful Intellivision controllers, which sucked. But at the time, we didn't really care. That was all we had. So we just made the best of it and we, we had fun anyway. Burger Time was an absolute staple. The music is just, it's embedded into my head forever. <laughs> the Burger Time theme. It's at number one. I don't know if it's technically her favorite game, but every once in a while when she brings up the old days now, Burger Time is the first thing that she ever... Do you remember playing Burger Time? I'm like, yeah, of course I remember playing Burger Time. So I had to put it at number one. And whenever I think of my grandmother in video games, that is absolutely one of the first memories that comes to my head, is playing Burger Time. It's actually one of the only games I play on the Intellivision now when I hook up my Intellivision and, and start playing. So I'll always put in Burger Time, even now. It's good times. Unfortunately, after the Yoshi Island, she wanted to get into the N64 because she had a stroke. Uh, shortly after that and she was just so in love with video games she didn't want to stop playing video games um, but the issue was her left hand um, it didn't work as well and so holding that Super Nintendo controller uh, it, she just it was very very hard for her to, to operate the d-pad she knew that the N64 had these big giant controllers now we all know that the controllers are horrible but she thought that Hey, if I can hold the, this bigger controller, maybe it's easier and have the little little joystick. So she got an N64 and she got Mario uh, and she just, it wasn't for her. The other 3D stuff just wasn't for her. And I still think that she wasn't able to operate the controller very well. So that, that was kind of a flop, unfortunately. From about 1982, three, somewhere around there, uh, all the way to the mid 90s, my grandmother was just a really huge gamer. And one of the biggest reasons why I became a gamer and one of the biggest reasons why I hold on to a lot of this stuff that I have and the nostalgia I have for it, it's because of those memories that I have. And I feel fortunate enough to be able to associate gaming with those really, really awesome times and awesome people. So leave a comment below. Let me know, uh, did you game with your grandparents? And if so, what were their favorite games? Take care, everyone.